This is going to be a great trip. I've never been to Mexico, have you? No, I haven't. Have you finished everything? Oh my gosh! Where's my bag? It's in the closet. Of course. I'm the only one who's organized around here. I ran errands all day, and I'm ready. Exhausted, but ready. What did you have to do? Well, first, I had to confirm my flight. My ticket! Where's my ticket? Have you seen it? I saw it in the bathroom. The bathroom? Are you sure? So strange! Oh, you're right! Got it! Then I had to get traveler's checks. Oh, my money! I've lost my wallet! <sighs> then I had to pay the electricity and the phone bills because someone forgot. And then I had to change my voicemail message. <gasps> my cell phone! I don't remember where I put my cell phone. It's in the kitchen. The kitchen? It's in the kitchen. Ah! Oh! Ta-da! These two, they're never prepared. What would they do without me? <laughs> How true. Hey, don't forget to unplug your TV and electrical stuff before you go. Done. Son he, we're late. It's time to go. Okay. Hey, Mike. I have to go. We're leaving for the airport. Bye, Bye Mike. Mike. Cool. Have a great trip, girls. Bye. Okay, does everybody have everything? Yep. Tickets, yes. bags, yep. coats. Yep. Everything. Yep. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Mexico. Here we ah! come. <laughs> now, Mexico, Mexico, here we, we come. come. Hi, hi. Thank goodness you're here. This morning she almost fainted. Then she felt very tired. And now she says she feels very lightheaded. I don't know what to do. Has she seen a doctor? She won't go. She says she just needs to get some rest. Did anything happen? Nothing out of the ordinary. The worst thing is she has this big meeting with the president of the university tonight. She's been pretty anxious about it. Okay, let's take a look. Sanhi, Mike and Takeshi are here. Hi. Hey. How are you feeling? Very tired. And I feel dizzy. And my stomach is killing me. <sighs> I think I might even have a fever. Oh, why do I have that meeting with the president tonight? I can't stop thinking about it. Eat something. You'll feel better. Are you kidding? I can't eat. I'm not hungry. Maybe you should go for a walk, you know, get some fresh air? No, I just need to rest. Hello? Yes? No, this is her roommate, Tara. What? Okay. I'll let her know, thanks. That was the uh, president's secretary. And what did she say? She told me to tell you that tonight's meeting has been canceled. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, Mike, can you hand me that orange juice? I don't know, maybe we should call a doctor. Yeah, maybe we should. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen anyone eating before? I take it you're feeling better? I am feeling pretty good. It must be a miracle or something. Or a lucky phone call. Hey! What are you doing? I'm getting ready for my blind date. A blind date? You don't know this man? No, but he's a friend of Claudia's, so it should be okay. Oh, so where did she meet him? They met at work. He's a colleague of hers. He's from Brazil too, but he's working in the US office right now. 
Are you excited? Excited and a little nervous. What jewelry should I wear? I don't know. Hey, what's that? That's nice. This? Oh, this is a bracelet my first boyfriend Joe gave me. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. We were so in love. Too bad we were only 17. Too young. <laughs> What's this? That. <laughs> Oh, that's a souvenir from my first trip to the U.S. I was five years old. Why are you still hanging on to it? Oh, I'm keeping it for the memories. Mm. How about this? Now that is my favorite keepsake. It's a pendant from my grandmother. She gave it to me when I was 18 years old. For your birthday? No. I was in my first year of college and things were rough. I had no friends. I hated my classes. I didn't think I could make it. And one day, my grandmother told me a story. Yeah? My grandmother's father died when she was only eight years old. Things were hard for her family after that. She went to school. She helped out at home and she had a job. She was just a little girl. I know. She worked really hard throughout her whole childhood. So when my grandmother turned 18, her mother gave her this pendant to say thank you. That was nice. Yeah, so when life was difficult for me in college, my grandmother gave me the pendant as a reminder to be strong. That's beautiful. And it's perfect for tonight. You know, you're right. Here goes. Does anybody know why Tara asked us to come here today? She said something about solving a crime and arresting a criminal? Arresting a criminal? <laughs> yes, a criminal. <laughs> hey Tara, nice hat. Someone in this room has committed a crime. What? 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 Come what on. A theft. Someone ate Sunhee's yogurt. <laughs> well, my yogurt is missing, but it's okay. It's only yogurt. It starts with yogurt. Next time it's your cookies. Your ice cream. Who knows where it will end? Okay, okay, go on. It's very likely one of you did it because you all have a key to this apartment. I only use my key for emergencies. And besides, you live here. You have a key. Maybe you took it. I'm the detective. I didn't do it. Now, the thief works calmly, quietly, and very neatly. Note the weapon. Clean and dry. I didn't do it. I have an alibi. I was out of town last week. Just got home last night. I know you didn't do it, Roberto. I asked you to come here today because you are a friend of the thief, Claudia. What? Confess, you're always too busy to go shopping. You didn't have any yogurt. You were hungry. It was late. You waited until everyone went to bed and then you slowly entered the kitchen. You made sure no one was there. Then you carefully took this spoon and very quietly opened the refrigerator door and ate Sunhee's yogurt. No, no, it's not true! <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks. Nice hat. What's up? Hello. Aloha. Tara, it's me, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. What's up? A friend of mine invited me to a luau tonight. She told me to bring friends. Would you like to join us? 
Sure. What's a luau? It's like a Hawaiian barbecue. You wear Hawaiian shirts, drink pineapple juice, dance. It's fun, you know. Sounds great. I'd love to go. Great. Is Sunhee there? I'd like to invite her as well. She's right here. Let me ask her. Sunhee, would you like to go to a luau tonight? The Hawaiian kind? Yeah, I would. Um, wait. I can't. I promised Takeshi I'd help him with his film project tonight. Well, bring him along. Claudia said it's okay to bring friends. Okay. Takeshi? Yeah. Hey, listen. After we work on your film project tonight, would you be interested in going to a party? It's a Hawaiian luau. That sounds interesting. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, can Mike come? Sure. Tara said to bring friends. Great. I'll call him right away. See you tonight. Hello? Hey, Mike. Hi, Takeshi. What's up? How would you like to go to a Hawaiian party tonight? Sure. Hey, why don't we invite Roberto, too? He loves parties. Yeah, son, he said we could bring friends. Okay, great. I'll give him a call. Hello? Hi, Roberto. It's Mike. Would you like to go to a party tonight? It's going to be really fun. Uh, that sounds great, but I can't. I have to go to some luau tonight with Claudia. Maybe next time. Have fun. Okay. Who was that? That was Mike. He invited me to some party tonight. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yvonne Lee. Welcome. Hi, Claudia Oliveira. Please, have a seat. Thanks very much for coming in. Did you bring your resume? Yes. Here you are. Great. Thanks. First, let me tell you a little bit about the job. We're looking for someone to sell our new software product internationally. The job requires flexibility, independence, and most importantly, a pleasant manner with customers. I agree that's important. I've worked in sales for years and have always tried to really listen to my customers to find out what they need. I think I'm really good at that. That's great. So, tell me a little bit about your experience with software programs. Well, uh, I've trained people how to use a similar software product for the past two years at my current job. So I really feel I know the product and customer needs. Hmm. Interesting. And your sales experience? I've been with my present company for three years and in my present position since last year. In that time, I've been named Salesperson of the Month three times and have taken top sales awards several times as well. Impressive. I, I'm also taking graduate courses right now in marketing. I feel it really helps me understand the market better, especially the competition. You've been very busy, Ms. Oliveira. Well, thanks very much for coming in. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Hey, Bill. I just interviewed a woman for that software sales position. How did it go? Very well. Do you think she's right for the job? I think so. She has a high energy level and a lot of experience. Okay. Let's offer her the job. Great. Hello? Hello? Claudia Oliveira, please. She can't come to the phone right now. May I take a message? Yes, please. Tell her that Yvonne Lee called. Okay. Come on, we're going to be late for our aerobics class. Oh, by the way, there was a phone call from some woman called uh, Yvonne. Yvonne something? Okay, let's begin. In Japan, you bow when you greet people, like this. That's cool. Hi. What are you two doing? Takeshi is teaching me traditional Japanese greetings for my trip to Japan. <gasps> Your trip to Japan? When? I have a big meeting in Tokyo in July. Wow, that's great. I'm a little nervous about the whole trip, though. Why? There's no need to be nervous. I'm kind of worried about making mistakes. I don't know anything about Japan. 
Don't worry, everything is going to be fine. And you have a good teacher. Mm. Let's see what else. Oh, remember, always use two hands when you give a person your business card, like this. Okay. Hey! That looks really good, Claudia. You're a natural. <laughs> remember, never use your finger to point. Ooh. That's actually rude in a lot of countries. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. In Japan, for luck, you jump three times and nod your head like this. What? Okay. Yeah. Let's try it. Come on. Come on, Claudia. Try it. Good. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> hey, they don't do that in Japan. You guys are joking. Oh. Come on, Claudia. I only wanted to teach you a very important lesson for traveling. Relax and have a little fun. You're right. Some teacher you are. <laughs>
<clears throat> oh, good and generous and compassionate fairy, I want to go to the prince's ball tonight, but I have nothing to wear. Fear not, Cinderella. You will see the brave and loyal prince tonight. Ow! But remember, you must be home by midnight. Oh, I promise, good fairy, and thank you. And so Cinderella went to the prince's ball, met the prince, and fell in love. But when she was rushing home just before midnight, she lost one of her slippers. The next day, Cinderella had a visitor. I'm the brave and loyal prince. I'm looking for the woman who wore this slipper last night. Would you please try on this slipper? And so the prince saw that it was indeed Cinderella's slipper and he knew that she was the princess he loved. And so they got married, and they, and they lived happily ever after. Good, so change the first part and make those corrections and your paper will be great. Okay. Thanks for all your help, Professor Morgan. I'll email my paper to you later today. You know, technology is amazing. In high school, I used to write my term papers on a typewriter. It must have taken a long time to write a paper on a typewriter. Well, I was pretty fast, but I made some mistakes. Actually, the typewriters weren't that bad. Now, as for the first computers, oh my gosh. What do you mean? The first computers were so unreliable. They used to crash all the time. And they were not as affordable or as fast as they are now. Mine's pretty fast but not as fast as some of the newer, more expensive ones. I know. And nowadays, almost everyone has a computer. In those days, nobody had their own computer. We used to use the ones at the university. In the computer lab? Yeah, that's all we had. I'll never forget, one spring, during final exams, everybody was working on their term papers, and the electricity went out. So, no big deal. Laptops have batteries. Yes, but remember, in those days, we didn't have laptops. If your computer crashed, you lost everything. 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 We used to lose information all the time. But that time, it was terrible. Everybody lost their papers that afternoon, including me. What did you do? I went back to the good old-fashioned way. You mean typewriters? Nope. I used something more affordable, portable, reliable, disposable, something that always worked. What was that? The first word processor. <laughs> well, possessive adjectives, we use them to show that something belongs to somebody or somebody has something. Now, look at this. We have subject pronoun. Like you all know, we have I, you, we, they, he, she, it. The possessive adjective of I is my. You is your, we, our, they, their, tongue, their, he, his, she, her, it, is. We have I and my. I have dark brown hair, or I can say my hair is dark brown. For you and your, you have a fashionable blouse, or we can say, your blouse is fashionable. We and our, we have three expensive cars, or you can say, our three cars are expensive. They and their, they have an intelligent dog, or I can say, their dog is intelligent. He and his. He has a really nice apartment, or his apartment is really nice. 
she and her. She has an, sorry, she has adorable children, or we can say her children are adorable. And the last one, it has a pretty long tail, or we can say its tail is pretty long. The same vowel letters e a together, but this is meets, right? This is e meets. This one bread, bread. So we have e, and this one break. Break, so we have a. So the same e a but different ways of pronunciation. E a a, right? Okay, the same two consonants together c h. So this is chicken, chicken. So we have ch. This one machine, machine. So this is sh, and this one chemistry, chemistry. So we have k. Okay. What about this one? Child, right? Child. But when we just add r e n at the end of child, so how we pronounce this one? Is it children? No, it is children, right? So we have i children. This is woman. We have u woman. But when we just replace e for a, how do we pronounce this one? Is it woman? No, this is we men, women, woman, women. Okay, and this one, this is a right break, break, and this one, this one is fast, fast, break, fast. But when we match them together. Okay, you know this word, right? How do we pronounce this word? Is it break fast? No, it is break first. Break first. Why is that? Well, I have to say that that's the way English is. And remember that. There is no fixed pronunciation rules or pattern for English words. So, how can we make sure that when you study an English word, you are able to know that you are pronouncing it as correctly or nearly correctly as the way the native speakers do, without any help from your teachers or other people? Well, the answer, of course, is to study English pronunciation.